Hey guys, how's it going? How is your Sunday? Today is October 22nd, 2023. Okay, so let's do um, a pick a card. Who is your future spouse? Could be just like a little energy update to to get some clarification or confirmation regarding your future spouse and love energy update so anyway as you all know that i am trying to push this uh who is your future spouse special reading for 35 dollars includes one question so if you're interested to know the latest update about your future spouse journey traits looks personality occupation including one question so you can email me spiritual explorer 1111 at gmail.com or if you have more than one question you if you if you have three questions five questions six questions you can uh, check the description box below so everything that you needed to know um information okay so thank you very much so let's go I want to know like any uh, anything you need to know about your future spouse traits looks personality anything they need to tell you okay or you wanted to know in your love life energy update regarding your future spouse journey okay so let's go pile one butterfly pile two compass pile three heart let's go I'll give you a moment Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for pile, butterfly, compass and heart spirit guides. What is going on in our future spouse journey? So anything we need to know about our future spouse journey. Thank you very much. And um, blessings, protection, guidance, please. So I am going to use like because we're going to be on the halloween spirit see halloween welcome halloween it's going to be almost halloween so um i'm going to use like um like the tarot de la nui so it's kind of dark but we're in the halloween vibe okay so let's go i'm going to make sure you pick your choices and um let's understand okay <laughs> We are in the Halloween vibe, so I know I needed a bigger table, but anyway, let's see, let's see. So, sorry guys, anything that pile, oh my gosh, it just kind of flew. Maybe someone like a feminine needing to find the light. Spirit guys, not under the table, please. In the table so I don't get confused. What is happening with who is the future spouse of pile one, spirit guys? What is happening in the journey of pile one? Angel de la Nui. Actually, I like this Angel de la Nui. I mean, it's Angel of the Night, but if, when it comes in your energy, it means that whatever challenges and darkness you have been through, that means you can you can get out of it. You can spawn out of this darkness because there is mystery, there is magic, there is like like um, something that's really going to propel you out of this darkness. Okay, so there could be a feminine you've been going through and, or stuck in your spiritual darkness or dark night of the soul. Maybe you were someone feeling isolated and thinking like, is there really hope for you? To find your future spouse let's find out more okay this reminds me of the crow i know it, we're in the, the halloween kind of vibe right now so anyway let's see two of swords i tell you there's a feminine you were feeling stuck you were feeling confused in your future spouse journey possibly you're feeling like someone betrayed you ghosted you or you could be someone who really have um like you connected with someone toxic in the past let's find out if you already know your person okay or maybe this could be a calling that it's time for you to manifest new love in your life because you have to go to rebirth to manifest this connection your future spouse in your life i mean our question right now is who is your future spouse but i feel like you have trouble seeing or believing at least maybe spirit guys trying to say you need to believe more so you can manifest this connection in your life queen of pentacles yeah 
Queen of Pentacles is someone like graceful or trying to balance work life and home life. Um, I'm not an astrologer, so I'm just going to skip on the, um, like the signs. But all I can tell you right now is you're going to meet someone who's going to make your wishes and dreams come true because you're trying there's a feminine here you're trying to look for security stability and protection and you you wanted to know where you need to be so let's clarify okay there's a very strong feminine energy here so if you are someone like asking who's your future spouse this person went through a lot of trauma fears and kind of stuck right now but very wonderful person, reliable, practical, a good mother. They balance work life or home life. Maybe, you know, um, maybe this person, like a feminine, transi transitioning between jobs right now because she's trying to look for security, stability. Okay, so who is your future spouse, pile one? Five of Wands, yeah, Five of Wands, competition, maybe some, Pile One, are you in separation with someone? Because it feels like there's the pain of separation. Maybe you went through conflict with someone, but I wanted to know, I wanted to know if, if you already know your person, because Right now, Pile Butterfly, you are someone dealing with the pain of separation. Okay, so let's see, or maybe, because Five of Wands is an energy of competition. Maybe you're dealing with third party connection. Maybe your connection is dealing with codependent relationship or the third party. Maybe they need to release third party or as far as I know, maybe you were someone who was hurt because someone chose, cho someone uh, like your special someone chose the greener pastures or something like that. But okay, let me understand more. Spirit guys, who is the future spouse of Pile One? Nine of Wands. Yep, you were feeling drained, exhausted, trying to believe in love, but give it all you got. If you, if you're like, you know, if you're not going to fight for your love life or for your future spouse, you're going to end up stuck. So either you're going to like open yourself to love or you're going to end up isolated. Okay. So see, because nine is, um, an energy of isolation, of being single, of feeling trapped, of seeking answers, but, uh, and you are also seeking abundance and security. So anyway, um, you might be someone forcing yourself with a connection right now. I don't know, but Spirit Guide says you need to try. But at the same time, I could also sense that you were frustrated because you possibly feeling like you're the only one trying to connect with a certain person because I, I, it's kind of complicated. Remember, this is a general reading. But anyway, who's your future spouse? Queen of Swords. Yep. Spirit Guys is trying to say, your future spouse, you're going to manifest this person in your life. But you have to go through self-love. Okay, shadow work and healing. So right now, do not harden your heart. Because I feel like if you want to find love, if you want to find your future spouse in your life, you have to... You, you you cannot be the ice queen, okay? You cannot harden yourself to love. I feel like maybe Spirit Guys is trying to say, whenever, even if you do not know this person or you know this person already, either way, you have to keep your options open, okay? Because right now, you do not want to get trapped. Remember, Queen of Swords is also an energy that you need to cut away from toxic people, places, and connection. If there's an ex that needs to be released, release them. You know what to do anyway. You need to assess what you want in your life or you need to reflect what what or who you need in your life. Do you want to be an ex? Do you want to be with your ex? Or do you want do you want to manifest new love in your life? Because it feels like there was some kind of chaos in here. So... So universe trying to say, if you think manifesting a new love, 
potential new partner is much more better for you then do it okay so i'm going to clarify but that's what i could see in your energy pile butterfly maybe you're going through your own metamorphosis right here you need to get out of your cocoon and know that you you possibly trying to build your wings right now because you felt like really hurt and broken but you gotta come out of the cocoon okay we gotta see adventures or something or explore other connections or something like that yeah adjudication i tell you this is choices maybe someone going through divorce or something or separation i tell you i was seeing it okay or maybe someone choose maybe you were connecting with someone who chose other pastures or something like that or chose ambition over you but anyway see spirit guy says you're not meant to get stuck here so whatever the deal is if you are someone who's coming out of a toxic situation well release okay release where there comes ending comes new beginning why force yourself in a connection when there's nothing there you're just going to end up with this in the same situation if there's no connection there's no connection so why don't you manifest new beginnings and new love in your life i mean look i already told you the choices do you want to be with that ex or do you want to have do you want to manifest a new love occupation see occupation it's like hard work your your uh situation possibly wasn't so easy because you also have to deal with with work life personal life so anyway let me see who is your future spouse there's some there's some kind of complication in your energy file um one but anyway spirit guys says do not give up because see you if you want love in your life you want to find your future spouse you gotta make it happen make the effort okay gifted you're gifted anyway trust your intuition you're very gifted are you a cat person <laughs> oh my god or someone is gifted here and someone likes cats or maybe cats they could be mysterious or maybe they are drawn to goddess isis or the egyptian culture or something like that there could be they could be a mystic they could be mysterious introverted very intuitive okay so serious relationship anyway yeah this maybe this pile one you could be someone who is not dating a, around a lot and you are trying to pray to the universe who is this person you're going to marry but you've been through a lot there's a lot of trauma and fears and healing that needs to be done or shadows that needs to be released okay in your karma so anyway reserved person i tell you mysterious reserved person maybe your future spouse is reserved guarded and aloof okay maybe they could be someone like um anyway Maybe you were someone trying to get emotions from this person and this person like wasn't too vocal with their emotions. Either way, like I was seeing both ways on that. Okay, so anyway, engineer. Okay, so this person can be an engineer. Could They could be faithful or you want to have a faithful future spouse or a faithful person. Okay, so anyway man of honor okay so this person is a man of honor okay what else is there guys jacuzzi <laughs> what else hotel sex sorry okay maybe this person is very sexual your future spouse oh my goodness face <laughs> nothing can separate us well i cannot tell you that maybe there's some kind of separation right now but anyway this could be a new love or if you are already drawn to someone maybe this person you think like where do you stand where do you stand with this person because you're kind of confused anyway this is what i i am so in love with you you're i know it okay you're very much in love with your person right now for some of you anyway or you're going to fall in love with this person very much either way there's a lot of messages here and just 
Hopefully you resonate, but I try, okay? Magnetism, I tell you, very sexual. There is a gravitational pull to each other. So maybe the first time you're going to meet this person, there's going to be love at first sight. Sexual charisma, sexual charm. Your person is have could be have a high sex drive or something. I tell you, open your heart. There you go. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Exactly. This is what I already trying to tell you. Remember, this is recorded right now, but I am still channeling to you real time. See, explore your options. Open your heart. Let this person in your life. Whether this is a new love or a person who's trying to want to come in your life. Anyway, I, I already told you the exact, exact keywords here. Let it in. Open your heart. Anyway, this is, I think this is what I could see for you. Open your heart to new possibilities. Open your heart to new connections. Do not get stuck on toxic connections who doesn't see your work so something like that or maybe because you connected with someone in the past and they're not meant to be either way either way you have to like get out of your cocoon okay so you can find your future spouse or your future spouse is going to find you thank you let's go pile compass okay for those who gravitate to pile compass okay at first, I wanted to pick Pile Compass, and then I changed my my pick to Pile Heart. So anyway, for those of you who's going to pick Pile Compass, um, this is your, who is your future spouse? What do you need to know? Trace, looks, personality, what they want to tell you, or what is going on with your journey? Let's find out, okay? So anyway, what's happening with Pile Compass, future spouse, journey, spirit, guys? Thank you the will the will of fortune your your person is destined to be with you you're going to meet this person unexpectedly there could be travel there could be relocation okay so there could be pregnancy as well so anyway because i don't know why i'm saying that but you've been man you've been manifesting you've been weaving <laughs> You've been trying to magnetize this person in your life. You could be someone living two different lives right now. Like when I say like two different lives, like um, opposite personality, opposite attract. So the Wheel of Fortune could be good luck, good fortune, travel, relocation, situation will improve. Possibly first meeting, fated meeting. If you are someone who is wondering how you're going to meet your person, well, there's going to be unexpected meeting. Or this person you're going to meet unexpectedly or this person is going to discover you unexpectedly. So anyway, let's see. King of Pentacles. Your person could be someone really wealthy. Okay? Possibly a business owner. Someone who is trustworthy, reliable, generous, mysterious, kind of mysterious as well because, and humble because this person, they have it all, okay? They've been there and done that and, and I don't know, I'm really picking up that this person's very handsome, very humble if it's a masculine. They look young for their age too. Maybe this person has really like, like, um, had their big break while they're still young okay there's castle in the background here so see there's pentacles they're ve this person is successful stable and very wealthy okay it could be lean or in the taller side if it's a masculine but anyway i feel like someone wants to come in your life maybe you could meet this person through a uh, business conference or business trips or something so anyway let's see um what else you need to know? The moon. There's a feminine, there's like a very strong balance of feminine and masculine energy. Um, there's a very strong spiritual connection, but there's a feminine here. You're very gifted and the message from universe, you, you need to manifest this person in your life because the moon, you've been seeking answers, but you had trouble trusting your intuition. So, um, what else is pairing, guys? Queen of Swords. Hmm. 
Queen of Swords is working through your shadows, moving away from toxic people. There's this connection that you don't need anymore. So, so there's a feminine. She's been working on herself. Okay, she really keeps to herself. This this feminine is very mysterious, like almost high priestess energy. Maybe this your the masculine thinks you're very mysterious. Okay, so anyway, um, what else is very nice? Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of wealth here, like wealth and abundance and luxury and opulence. Because Ten of Pentacles is home, family, children. I feel like. Maybe you're going to meet your future spouse through a gathering, through a party, or like um, a place where there's a lot of money flowing, or like, I don't know. I mean, a place where there's abundance, luxu luxury, luxurious setting, okay? But I feel like you both want to have family. You're, you you want to be close to your family, or you do not want to be alone, or regardless, there's a message here that your future spouse is going to be proud to to um, introduce you to their family and friends. Or I feel like maybe your future spouse is ready to have a family, ready to settle down. Eight of Swords, but there's a feminine here. You've been doubting this connection. Okay, you were feeling isolated. You were feeling trapped. You're living under the moon. You've been doing your shadow work. So... Oh my God, it feels like your energy is kind of related to pile one, but pile one's kind of quite dark, okay? But I feel like in your case, the masculine really likes you, okay? And in your case, but you have trouble seeing who your future spouse is. You've been doubting your connection or you've been stuck there living under the moon, feeling trapped for some time. Queen of Wands, so see it? Spirit guide says you have to spread your wings, angel. Green light. You gotta be assertive. Take action. If you want to get to know your future spouse, if you want your future spouse to to get to know you, you have to step up because Queen of Wands is someone confident, assertive. Okay? Like be beautiful, okay, inside and out. But confidence is the key. Confidence, courage. So maybe this is the message, take action. Queen of Wands is also someone could be like a fashionista, love style. They love, I mean, even if it's a masculine energy, this this is a person who is um, have a strong sense of style. They love art. They like beautiful things. Okay, but all I can tell you right now, in your future spouse journey, you got to learn to have confidence. If you're going to be hiding, then your your future spouse will have a hard time um, seeing you. So anyway, let's see. There's a very beautiful divine feminine and very handsome masculine. You're going to be a very beautiful couple regardless of the gender. You know what to tell you honestly. I don't want to be biased. But anyway, you could have masculine, feminine energy change i tell you the wheel of fortune is all about travel changes movement situation is going to change you could be very single and feeling isolated right now but that's going to change like i already said someone might travel towards you or your status is going to change soon bad health but take care of your health mental anxiety feeling well health could be spiritual health, physical health, okay? Maybe you were trapped in the dark and then you're like feeling like hopeless in there. Family room. I tell you, family, community is like the Ten of Pentacles. You want to belong to someone. You do not want to be like spending your time alone again and again and again. So Spirit Guy says you need to come out of this dark energy, negative thinking in order for your future spouse journey to, to change and have the possibility to manifest in your life. Okay? To tell you honestly, I can just tell you intuitively. Okay? So what else? Um, 
you make me happy well you're trying to find someone who's going to make you happy well your future spouse is going to make you happy and make your dreams come true courtship well maybe your future spouse likes <laughs> to like woo you or court you because you're a free spirit or you're kind of mysterious and falling in love with you oh my god either way a person is going to fall in love with you or you're going to fall in love with someone i tell you you might meet this person in a shop in a store or in an establishment where money is flowing i knew it you bring me hope this person is going to bring hope and love and happiness in your life okay maybe you are someone who's kind of thinking like oh my god maybe it's Someone's not going to fall in love with you or anything. But I tell you, confidence is the key. Okay? I'm not a relationship guru, but that's what the, they've been... The relationship guru is trying to say. Self-love. Be the prize. Be a catch. Like, confidence. I don't know how... But anyway, learn, learn to be confident. Okay? Because maybe you are someone who is very insecure and trying to push people away. So you gotta learn to work on your relationship with yourself, your alignment with the universe, your relationship with God, with your spiritual team, and your relationship with your family and your loved ones. So you can also attract the right person to be in a relationship with you, okay? You're a good girl anyway, or be a good girl and a good lover. You're a giver. So don't be even thinking like nice girls finish less. I if if you're not bitchy, then don't don't pretend who you're not. Okay, you can be a good girl and a bad girl. <laughs> anyway, good girl outside, bad girl in the bedroom. Either either way, it's a win-win situation. Maybe you're a good girl with a freaky sight, or that's what your future spouse wants. They want a good girl and a freaky girl in the bedroom you take my breath away regardless when this person your person's going to see you you're going to blow them away <laughs> take their breath away like they really think that you could be someone like really beautiful but you do not know that you're beautiful or maybe your person is really going to be drawn to you because there's something about you they're really attracted to you and doesn't even we i can even explain because i could feel a very strong attraction from your person maybe your person is going to see you somewhere and then from then on going to be really drawn to you okay so anyway anything else you need to know this guys i tell you i don't know if you're going to meet this person in a halloween ball or in disguise but some elements of this relationship are hidden there's some mystery here maybe your person is really going to be drawn to you because you're very mysterious which i already told you okay but someone is wearing a face mask here so you gotta get to know each other so what else forever young oh my god you possibly make your this your person young at heart or you're going to be looking young look younger than your age okay a, a song and what is this a song of youthful playfulness i do think you're going to be really flirty with each other look this masculine really adores you pile too like really like touchy feely and really desires you okay something like that maybe this person is really obsessing about you without you even knowing you're kind of like i feel like this person is trying to say they're addicted to you they're addicted to you something like that i can't even explain but anyway this is what i could see in your future spouse journey and wow i think you're going to really hit it off the charts in the bedroom because i could i could feel some happiness here so anyway let's see um okay thank you pile two just going to be one two three let's go um i feel drawn to pile heart okay for those who's going to pick pile heart um anyway i'm i just really feel drawn to i like i said i almost picked pile compass 
but I changed my mind to pile heart. Okay, spirit guides. Um, who is our future spouse? Anything you need to know about your future spouse, traits, looks, personality, what do they want to tell us? And love energy update. Anything we need to know, I'm ready. Okay, what's going on with our future spouse? Journey to those who pick pile heart. <laughs> Nine of cups. Nine of cups is a sincere wish is going to be granted nine of cups is you are someone's wish fulfillment so nine of cups is wishes coming true okay so anyway wow this like reminds me of the frog and the princess okay maybe you are trying to look for your emperor divine feminine so anyway let's but anyway nine of cups it could meant that someone look at how the frog is looking at this woman like adoration or i feel like maybe there's someone in here like a masculine like a little bit immature but when they meet you this ma this masculine or your counterpart is going to really change their ways for you maybe this person could be a bad boy or something and then when they see you that i mean they're good. there's something about you it's like beauty and the beast princess and the frog something like that okay so let's see what is going on here spirit guys some kind of fairy tale story here what is going on page of cups oh my god a new person a secret admirer a new love a new person will enter your life so this could be a new love or a new romance or it's possibility that you know it is also possible for some of you that you could be friends with this person and you want to be some something more serious but it could also meant like secret admirer a masculine is wishing for you wanting to get to know you really admires you but you're like the little but you're like the mermaid okay you see there's a mermaid here how to catch you how to woo you because the page of cups is something like courtship secret admirer how to get to know you because you're very elusive okay maybe this is what this masculine is thinking how to get to you okay how to win your heart okay so anyway let's see but i'm picking up like a very beautiful feminine like you have a very um like otherworldly ethereal beauty four of wands oh my god four of wands is marriage see this person who's going to come in your life has very sincere intention because four of wands is happiness true love happily ever after maybe this is your soulmate ah you're going to marry your soulmate i mean four of wands is marriage i mean between one two and three i feel like so far you have the best energy so far okay because i feel like you have a secret admirer who wants to to woo you who wants to get to know you and they see you as the one okay because look four of wands is like there's something about you but there's also a moon here so i feel like this person is very sure about you so i hope you already know this person <laughs> i hope we already know this person <laughs> or i hope you're going to love this person too so anyway what else do we need to know <laughs> queen of cups oh my god you've been manifesting you've been trying to call this person in your life who's your future spouse queen of cups you're very intuitive you're very sensitive you're very emotional okay so and you're also very loving and you're a healer so wow maybe this your person also knows that that you're a healer because queen of cups or you need healing you need your knight in shining armor for some reason i just saw like some kind of armor or something like that anyway anyway see queen of cups and then the page of cups there's kind of like a mermaid vibes here or something like that um so queen of cups a lot of emotions but you know four of wands is stability security and 
abundance okay i think so i can say abundance because it's a four of wands it's a very strong foundation of love it's a person who has very strong interest in you okay so um huh. two of swords but you do not see this person or maybe you're you're kind of confused like what oh my god another mermaid vibes i tell you i don't make it up Spirit guy says, maybe this person really likes you a lot, but you're kind of elusive. You need to open up to this person, okay? Because if you want love, look, even the Queen of Cups is also kind of mermaid vibe. Like maybe you need to work with the element of water to calm your emotions, or maybe you're very sensitive, emotional or something. So avoid triggers, chaos and drama, okay? Because whoever you're connecting with or whoever this person going to come in your life really likes you a lot, really sees you as the one and, and a person who has sincere intentions for you, okay? Like really, I mean, the magician, I tell you, the magician is someone take action person. The magician has a very strong masculine take action energy this person could be a public figure a master builder something like that because the magician also meant like they have the all the resources that they need this is someone who can make impossible things be possible this is a person who's like like um really going to make the first move towards you or if you're thinking like does this person see you yes they see you they really see you so clearly because this person is wishing to be with you and sees you as the one. Okay, so that's what I could understand for you right now. Let's understand more, sorry. So your person could be someone like um, a multitasker or master builder. They could also be a business person, very creative, a good communicator, okay? So anyway, let's see. Spirit guys, what else does Pile 3 need to know? <laughs> They're thinking about you. I tell you. See? I don't know if this person is an, an all-nighter, but they think about you. Okay? They think you are their muse. Maybe this person loves arts or something. I don't know if they like arts or painting, but they're thinking about you. You are like a muse. To them like a muse okay like a goddess or a muse or something like i said there's someone in here like with otherworldly and ethereal beauty which i already told you anyway um official person see official person meant like this is some person like a um, man of honor a take take action person a leader um someone someone um oh my god honorable okay you might see synchronicity 222 two, two, but the 222 two, two is also an energy of master architect master builder someone like that so i'm going to push it i'm going to get another one so this person who admires you a lot or manifesting you in their life actually the magician is also someone is manifesting you or someone wants to really manifest in your life you might see 11 11 you might see 222 two, two. that could be your life path number so anyway what else oh my god the house is also four of wands the house is also stability security protection i feel like this person is like emperor energy wants to protect you wants to offer you security protection stability if you really let this person in your life look this person is thinking about you how to get to you how to win you oh my god I, like wow there's a masculine really in love here to tell you honestly i don't even know how to explain that but are you capable of loving pile three if you're feminine yes you're emotional okay I mean, you keep you you also wear your heart in your sleeve sometimes. Yeah. So what's the problem here? I mean, <laughs> there's very strong marriage here. House could also be home, okay, and also luxury, luxurious, okay, luxury. And this person, like when they see you, they they want that 
keep with their promise to you or something like that so anyway they they want to they want to build things for you or something like that i do not know why i'm hearing that but anyway um let's see who's your future spouse booty call <laughs> oh my god booty call maybe there's a very strong attraction here of like maybe you're going to have date on the first or you're going to have sex on the first date i do not know but anyways your future black suits this person is in love with you anyway maybe they're just thinking right now like sabuti color you have you're you feeling that like 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 this that kind of attraction right now so i mean go for it anyway what can we lose now so anyway there's there's a message here black suits i want to marry you ah my god yes this person is really like so sincere i feel like this person if it's a masculine or feminine they're looking for their future husband future wife there's a very strong energy of marriage in your pile 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 three maybe before this person wasn't really as so serious with the others okay because maybe before they're just I don't know. Maybe this person is just really attracted to you because, like I said, no matter what the case, you are this person's dream, okay, or wish fulfillment, or you are per you are this person's fantasy or dream that they wanna come, they that they really want to have in their life. And I feel like they're going to take action on you because this person is already hooked on you. File free. I mean, I don't even. I can even tell you okay so so anyway they're watching you they are watching you like like a hawk and trust me they want to own you they this person wants to own you okay so anyway go up file tree I tell you I'm in love with you I tell you see someone is in love with you or you're in love with this person but you possibly like to own each other. You want to be together. So what is stopping you? There's very strong energy of like wanting to be together, of reunion, marriage, physical union. Stop running away from my love. I tell you, this person thinks like you're running away from them. Like you're very elusive. You're not elusive, pile tree. You're capable of emotions. I tell you that. You light up the room when you come in and there's something about you, okay? This person sees your light. Or maybe these persons are really drawn to your light, okay? Or maybe this person is going to bring light in your... Or healing in your life, honestly. I tell you, you have delicate features. See? Your fragile, delicate features, otherworldly, ethereal beauty. There's something about you. Ah! my god will lead to marriage back to back to back i want to marry you will lead to marriage i tell you this person from the get-go sees you as the one okay soulmate twin flame there's divine union twin flame union soulmate union there's a very strong energy of marriage i want to get to know you more which is the page of cups let's give this person a chance to get to know you more i tell you you have a secret admirer or someone has been watching you or getting to know you already who wants to be with you period okay so that's it am i consistent yes okay we're recording but this is real time okay so what else do we need to know about your future spouse journey well you're going to someone wants to own you someone wants to take you off the market pile three soulmate oh my god soulmate i tell you you have found your romantic counterpart because who is this person watching you your soulmate i knew it oh my god look this is your soulmate who is who is who wants to own you who wants to be in your life so enough said love language affirmations loving words hold great power well there you go 
and I'm about to see four, 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 four. Oh my God. And you have four of ones in here. So anyway, love language, you got to get to know each other and got to be loving towards each other. Avoid, avoid arguments, chaos and, and triggers. Okay. Because look, this person is your soulmate who loves you very much, or you're going to be drawn to a person and you're going to love this person very much. Okay. Either way. Honest communication. There you go. Expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So you just have to really express your love towards each other and be honest towards each other. Or maybe there's a person here who likes to express their feelings to you or want to get to know you. But anyway, there you go. I mean, everything else that we are seeing here, I think I already told you. Okay? Honest, honest communication, heart-to-heart -heart conversation maybe you need to um talk to each other okay so <laughs> i don't know what to say but future spouse is coming in your life pile three thank you very much okay so if you want to book your own personal reading who is your future spouse you can email me spiritual explorer 1111 at gmail.com thank you guys happy sunday bye for now bye